Yeah, welcome back to our channel. Today, I want us to look at uh, GMO, genetically modified food or organisms. Uh, this is a hot topic currently in Kenya, whereby the president is trying to introduce uh, GMOs so that he can fight uh, famine and drought in the far part of the country. Um, GMO, uh, that is genetically modified organism, um, uh, are organisms which could be plants, can be animals, bacteria, or even insects, that uh, their genetic makeup has been interfered with. All right. So, uh, how is it carried out? Um, genetically modified organisms can be produced in many ways. Actually, uh, currently four ways. One is through uh, the, the traditional way, you know, the most uh, common way that Africans have been doing it. Actually, world over, they have been doing the same, whereby um, there is cross breeding of animals. Like I used to say, my father, as we were growing up, taking our zeb uh, cow to Momaya's uh, grade uh, bull so that uh, it could jump it uh, for incre increased milk production. So that is a, a form of uh, crossbreeding so that you can bring about uh, uh, a better animal. So that type is called as uh, crossbreeding. Then we have another type which is uh, genetic engineering. Genetic engineering, this is where a scientist uh, uses the biotechnology to introduce a gene with um, the specific traits or desired uh, traits into another organism. So that is genetic uh, engineering. Then we have uh, uh, gene uh, editing or genomic editing, which is also done whereby uh, the scientist tries to remove undesired qualities or traits from an organism. Like you see in uh, crossbreeding, you introduce um, uh, two different animals, one of lower quality and another one of a higher quality so that they come together and the offspring may combine or have uh, not only the good or desired qualities but also the, the ones that you did not desire. So the scientist tries to remove uh, the bad ones or the undesired qualities so that is called as uh, genetic editing. Now the last one is cloning. Now cloning this is where uh, uh, a scientist or biotechnologist removes um, the nucleus from a cell and then introduces a new nucleus from a different organism into the inoculated uh, cell. So uh, the new cell from a different uh, the new nucleus from a different organism together with this cell <coughs> will produce an organism with desired uh, genes like the Dolly sheep, which was produced uh, in 1996, I think, uh, was done that way. So that is called as cloning. So those are the four ways you can use to modify an organism. All right. So do you have any benefits or potential benefits of GMOs? Y yes, yes. Uh, we can have benefits, and there are many. Uh, we have seen uh, those benefits in agriculture. We have seen them in medicine and uh, even in the environment. Um, in agriculture, you can uh, uh, genetically modify organism, and in this case, crops, so that you can uh, have high yields, you know, uh, with, uh, you know, if you are using the normal uh, costs or inputs, but you have a modified organism, you may end up getting higher yields, which may help. Uh, High yields can also help in reduction of costs and uh, use of other things. And let me give an example of uh, if a, a farmer is going to use a genetically modified uh, crop uh, against, uh, let's say, resistant to pests, it means then he's going to use less herbicides. So the cost of production will go uh, lower. And then the, the, the effect of the herbicides are, uh, in the environment will also go down because when people are exposed to herbicides, you know, they potentially they can harm them or get into the system. 
or even uh, pollute water during the runoff into the river you know it runs down the river and then people downstream still use the same water uh, equally you can have a genetically modified crop uh, against uh, bacteria or viral resistance and therefore uh, instead of the uh, plant or crop getting the infection it will reduce you know the cost of production when you are fighting the bacteria or the uh, virus so it will help the farmer in uh, reducing cost of pr uh, production um, there is fortification that has come about whereby uh, genetically modified foods you know the are, are genes which produce specific nutrients have been introduced into them and uh, they have improved the quality of of that food for example the gold rice there is a famous uh, uh, variety of rice that has been uh, genetically modified and it's called as golden rice this one is fortified with uh, uh, beta carotene you know it, pro uh, it, it introduces vitamin a into that rice so uh, the consumer or the people will eat that kind of rice